So this is going to be a video on a home light XL chainsaw that I picked up off of Facebook Marketplace. Uh, I paid about eight dollars for it because I bought three saws for twenty bucks. The other two are home lights also, and they're just uh, Rangers, which are pretty crappy. The guy said none of them run, so I'm going to check it all out, see if I can get it running. Um, disclaimer. I am not a great mechanic by any means. I've fixed maybe four or five chainsaws before this, a few weed whackers, things like that, nothing extensive. So uh, if you're looking for how to rebuild this thing or something like that from, from top to bottom, I'm not the guy for that. But I get so much off of YouTube that uh, I figure I would give back a little bit and make a video on my journeys with this saw thanks so we're gonna go ahead and get started here this is exactly how i got it um we'll just, just go over uh everything so came with the case came with this really cool uh old manual and different things in here i have not even opened this yet he had it taped up so uh, that's pretty cool so here's the saw out of the way so the first thing I noticed about this saw was when I squeeze the trigger there is uh, no resistance of any kind so pretty sure the throttle linkage is is off on that uh, so we're gonna open it up and and start there just to see what's going on with it um, and then I'm going to try to put some fuel inside of it and crank it up. So we'll try removing this and see what's going on under this handle. Yeah, that definitely doesn't look right. I'm not really sure what it's exactly supposed to look like, but I'm just going to take an educated guess here. I'm thinking like that. This back together. This little plastic piece guard type thing seems to be in the way. There it goes. That feels like it's connected now. For sure. Feel resistance there. We'll put this screw back in. So that's that's the simple fix. Okay, that looks good. So, I watched a video on, I don't think it was this exact saw, but extremely similar. It was Donnie Boy. Uh, I think he was taking the carburetor out or something like that. So I have an idea of how to disassemble this. Mine's a bit different, but I'll go ahead and start there with disassembling this thing. got some of the tools out already, but I'm not very organized either. We'll get this off. I don't have a chainsaw wrench for this, but it just seems to be one bolt, one washer, and this plate behind it.
go over there. That'll probably just come off. This is like a, uh, no, I don't even need to take the screw off, but the tensioning bolt is right there in the front. Like a bunch of saws that I can't stand. Get this off. And this side cover is not removable, so it's kind of a, a pain it looks like to get that off, but we'll put that chain to the side. body of the saw and from what I watched actually I think before I do this um I'm going to take a look in the fuel mix and see what that looks like It looks awful. Uh, pull the, uh, there's an intact fuel line here. We'll pull that out and take a look. Okay. So that is uh, really nasty. Really. Yeah, just like caked on stuff right there. Real, real bad. So, I think um, I'm going to put this back on. I'm going to go out and drain whatever little bit of fuel is in there. And then I'm going to uh, pull the uh, spark plug and put a couple of drops of fuel inside there and see if I can get it to crank. So I, I dumped what gas was in it out. Um, there's like a bunch of crud down there. It's like... I don't even know, like some kind of gunk or uh, wood chips or something. I'm not sure. It's pretty nasty. Maybe we can see it here. We'll flashlight on it. Yeah, something yellow and disgusting. Looks like whatever was over that fuel filter covering that as well. So have to figure out a way to get that out of there. Um, in the meantime, going to put the fuel cap back on, pull this plug off, Pull the spark plug off. I've got a little dropper of uh, some two cycle gas in here. I'm just gonna take a little dropper, shoot a little bit of that down into the uh, chamber. Put the spark plug back in before we go Tearing this entire thing apart. Let's just see if it fires up. I don't want to try firing it from the fuel tank because it's disgusting. I can only imagine that the uh, the carburetor is going to be equally as bad. Uh, so the carburetor is going to get rebuilt for sure. Uh, there didn't appear to be an air filter in here. So I'm not really sure about that. But we'll get into all that in a little bit. Let's just see if we can get it to fire in the meantime. So it feels like it has really good compression. Put some gas in there, put the cap back on, the uh, the boot, switch to the on position, and maybe it'll fire up here. There we go. So uh, it's definitely worth uh, taking apart and tinkering with for me. 
so we just fired it up so uh it fired so we've got spark and we've got probably compression um i'm just assuming that the fuel is bad because of the condition of the gas tank so i'm not even going to try to run fuel like i said before so we'll just start to take it apart and to get to the carburetor on this one the whole engine and everything has to come out of here it's kind of goofy but uh that's what we're going to do so uh i'll try my best at that and we'll start right here So there's four screws. To hold this side on. There we go. Got a, a screw right here. Hold the handle on. Get that off. And this should come off of here, I think. Yep. Okay, so there's that piece. Now we've got uh, this guy on here like this. So we've got bolts here and here. And I think we're gonna have to take off this uh, plug and the, uh, the boot here to pull this back through. This whole thing is gonna like pull out of here. This piece can come off now, this little plastic piece covers the carburetor up. Put that over there. And we'll go at these. I think I grabbed a wrench earlier to fit these. Here we go. Pretty straightforward here. Take this out again. And hopefully this whole thing just kind of pulls through now. Oh, and we're gonna have to disconnect this switch right here, which that looks pretty simple. We'll do that right now. Um, one video I watched, they disconnected it up up at the, uh, the switch right here, but this one's just right on here, so it's nice and simple. We'll do that. Pull that off of there. Get this out of the way. Put him up here. Okay, we start pulling out a little bit and then we're gonna try to get that linkage out. without breaking anything. Ah, there it is. So, just kind of pulled on it and pushed the little plastic piece 
back. Sorry, it's not the easiest thing to see right here, but I just kind of got it at an angle. Got this with the pliers, pushed that back a little bit and it popped out. And we will also take note right now of how that was hooked on there. I'll just pull it right out. So we'll put that out. I don't want to lose that. So hopefully this whole thing just slides out right now and it wants to. That boot's gonna be a little tricky, but there it is. Okay, so here's what we're looking at. Nothing too, too bad, dirty. Some uh, like heat shield or something like that up in here. And fuel line, it's pretty stiff like this, pull that off, and I can tell right now that I see, uh, this is the chain oil, and there is a, let's see here, this is broken going on to that one. And there's another one that's disconnected. I suspect, obviously, this goes here. It's completely destroyed as well. So, we'll document that. And there's another line, so I'll pull this off now. And there's another line that runs under the carburetor from this little block right here. It looks intact, but uh, I think all of these lines, including the gas lines, are definitely going to have to be replaced. So I guess, I guess this one, the oil pumps up in here somewhere. I'm not really sure how it works. Hopefully it's still working. And goes up into here, pumps out oil right there so once we get it all back together and running hopefully running we can check and see if it's oiling um i think what i'm going to go ahead and do is take this whole thing outside cover some holes on the carburetor and the muffler and uh give it a good bath including the body, get everything nice and washed up, and then we can go from there just to try to get less dirt in it and everything like that. I guess before I do that, what we'll do is we'll, uh, we'll go ahead and pull the muffler, put that spark plug back in so nothing gets in there. Pull the muffler and take a look at the piston. Felt like it had good compression, but let's just see what it looks like. Some screws here. And it looks pretty good. I'm not an expert on what it's supposed to look like, but this looks, it's got a couple little scratches and stuff like that, but nothing, nothing deep at all. It looks, it looks quite clean and, uh, and nice. So we can get up in there and see that. A bit of light on it. Hopefully you guys can see that. It looks, um, it looks pretty good. And the compression feels really good. So I think this is going to be pretty good. Go ahead and put this back on. There we go. 
that's back on boot is on so i'm gonna cover this up uh, i'm gonna find a way to cover this up probably the same thing maybe a little bag and some tape around it or something like that and uh we'll get everything nice and washed down and, and cleaned up okay so uh off camera i just real quickly i put like a Cut out some piece of this bag right here and wrapped it around here, duct taped it with uh, a little bit of force. And it's probably not, you know, airtight or anything like that, but it's gonna be fine. I'm not gonna blast water inside there or anything like that. Um, gonna have to deal with this gas can somehow. So maybe uh, all that crap inside of here. So maybe what I'll do is, um, just put some other gas in it and just keep shaking it around and see if I can break some of that stuff up or maybe get a brush or something like that and put it in there. I haven't looked at the oil yet. There's something in here. Probably an oil filter banging around. Don't know what this is going to look like. It's probably going to be scary also. It doesn't look that bad. Yeah, just kind of not too bad there. Um... See if I can find something to pour that into. We'll be right back. Okay, got a little container. And uh, we'll just see what that oil is like. Okay. Not, not terrible, I guess. I don't, I don't know. There's a bunch of crap inside of it. Particles and stuff like that. So there's going to be some kind of filter in here. So this little, this one right here is some kind of a, a return oil pump, I guess. I don't know. Return oil? It looks kind of like a, like a weed whacker, just like, and then the other one is snaking its way down to the bottom so we'll go ahead and start pulling that one out see what we get at the bottom of this i'm assuming there's a filter or something these definitely need to be replaced okay oh it's gonna it's gonna fall apart um Yeah, this is all nasty and disintegrated. If there was a filter on there, I just lost it. This completely fell apart. Okay, we got something here. Yep, a filter. I don't know what this other thing is. Something else fell out of here too, some kind of little. I don't know what that hooked to. I don't know what that is. Maybe this is some kind of valve of some, some sort. Perhaps this one on the little end at one time as a plug, but I, I don't know why that would plug in there. So I'll have to do some research on that and maybe you can figure it out. But either way, at least I have the piece, I guess. And then 
filter. Actually looks like it's in pretty good shape, but it'll probably put a new filter in there. Maybe I'll just blow this out and use it. Seems pretty nice. Okay, I'm gonna throw this out and maybe put some uh, some gas or something in both of these and start slushing them around and try to get them all cleaned out. I put a little bit of gas inside this uh, this gas tank and I'm sure there's probably a better way of doing this and you guys can put it in comments or whatever kind of stuff for other people. But um, I'm just gonna get this brush and jam it down in there. Pull that fuel filter up a little bit or break it off. So I'll have to get that out now. And I'm just gonna kind of go out of here a little bit and try to break up some of this gunk that's down here. I don't know how good this is gonna do, but then we'll just let the gas sit on it for, for a good while. It's already really nasty looking. So, make me that fuel line out. It's completely fallen down in there. I think I'll just let it sit and I'll fish the fuel line out of there when I can get the gas out and dry it and I'll be able to get no problem then. In the meantime, I'm just gonna let this sit and I'll get back to going out and cleaning this thing up. Okay, so I got this thing back in here now. Uh, it's mostly uh, dried off. The one thing I didn't clean out there as good as I would have liked was, uh, I noticed it while I was going, was this, uh, this clutch area. So I'm gonna try to get this off of here so I can get under there and blow it out and maybe lubricate it or something like that or grease it or whatever it needs to be done. I'm not really sure exactly what it looks like yet. Um, so I pulled a video on this from YouTube and it looks like this nut goes counterclockwise. I'm always unsure about these things so I looked that up and I pulled the spark plug so we're going to um, put a piece of rope down in here to, to jam this off. I was actually watching a uh, a video on this and I can't think of the guy's name not someone I've watched before but he takes this off as well and makes sure makes sure that the uh, the piston is past the muffler port turning in the direction that he's going in order to make sure that rope doesn't get jammed back in the muffler port or in a um, something like that I'm not exactly sure, but it makes sense to me. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that as well. And I can't remember which tool. I'll take this off. So that we can see that the piston is clearing it. So now we'll jam that rope up in there. So I'm coming up past the 
muffler port in the direction that I'm going to turn this. I'll put the rope in. It's just an old uh, starter rope. Hopefully that jams it right there. Okay, so that got it. We got the nut. The washer. The uh the clutch and there is a needle bearing on the inside of this. Seems quite stuck. So I'm not sure if that's pressed in or. It looks like it's perfectly fine. So I'm not even going to mess with it. It looks. I don't know, it's not just falling out of there or anything, so it looks great. So I'm just gonna grease it all up before I put it back together. And this looks okay. Springs are intact. I'm gonna go outside and just air hose this off real quick. Okay, so I blew that off uh, pretty well with the air hose. Let me give it a shot of WD-40. Clean up the excess of that a little bit. And then, uh, this looks pretty good on the inside, so I don't think there's any issues there. I'm just gonna put some grease on that bearing. So I've got some um, synthetic grease. I don't remember why I bought this stuff, but it's supposed to be really good. Let's impact that around that bearing with a Q-tip. Back on she goes. Wash your back on. So this is gonna go clockwise now. So I think the, based on what that guy said, as soon as this starts to uh, go clockwise, yeah, okay, it went clockwise a little bit. I can get the rope out of there. And now I'll go clockwise again until it, comes up and past the port. Stick the rope in again. Go ahead and tighten it down now. Not sure how tight that's supposed to be, but it was pretty tight when it was coming off of there so i'm just being not overly tightening it but uh not being a, a wimp with it either now i can back it off a tad and get the rope back out of there i think i'm good i'll just put the exhaust back on actually maybe what i'll do is since i have this exhaust off like this this thing is 
actually really nasty too. So I'm gonna go ahead and just uh, soak this for a while and clean this up and then I'll put it back on there. Okay, so I got this thing cleaned up now. And I'm just gonna go ahead and put that back on. So we can figure out how it goes. This is kind of a, a little bit of a pain here. Get that through. A little bit of pressure on that. So that screw sticking through and just uh, line it up and get it on there. Not really that hard. We're good there. Put the spark plug back in just to make sure not a bunch of crap gets in there. I'm not sure if I'll have to take that out again or not. That back on there. Probably go ahead and hit this uh, little bit WD 40. Wipe up the excess. So it doesn't rust or rust anymore. It's looking pretty good. So I think uh, I'm gonna go ahead and clean up some stuff around the table and I'm gonna come back, get this carburetor off of here or maybe I can just Uh, maybe I can get enough. Yeah, I think I can get enough of a coat off of this thing to go ahead and buy a replacement kit. So I'm going to get that on order and anything else I think I need, which I don't think I need anything except gas lines and filters and stuff like that. So I'll get a uh, carb kit on an order and then be back. <laughs> 